Fisher requesting apology. Shh. I'm sorry, I doubted you. Shh. And? Shh. And, and for calling you crazy. Shh. Captain Future accepts. Over. Shh. This is incredible. Flying cars, monorails, moving sidewalks. All brought to you by Cornelius Robinson. One guy came up with all this stuff? Yup. What about that? Yup. 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 Yeah. Who is this guy? My dad. He's an incredibly talented inventor. Some even call him the founder of the future. Robinson Industries keep moving forward. That's his motto. Yeah. You know, Dad failed way more times than he succeeded. But he kept going and never gave up. And neither should you. And that's why you're going to go back to the science fair and fix your memory scanner. Hey, I'm not going to fix that stupid memory scanner. You're punching in the... What? Wilbert, this is a time machine. Why should I fix my dumb invention when you can take me to see my mom now in this ship? Uh, um... I can do more than just remember her. I can actually see her, talk to her, maybe even convince her to keep me. Louis, seeing your mom isn't the answer to this. That's in the past. Your future is with the memory scanner. 124. What? That's how many adoption interviews I've had. 124. Finding my mom is my only chance for a family. Why would I give that up for this piece of junk? Uh, yeah, it, it's just that. It's... What is wrong with you? Oh, this is bad. What? Just as I feared, the ship is almost out of fuel. We got a code red on our hands. What did all that sniffing have to do with that? Soldier, I don't have time to explain every last detail to you. We need to get this puppy back to my house pronto. Okay, okay. So after we go to your house and refuel, we can see my mom, right? Uh, sure. Let's just get home first.